Let's welcome back to the show Washington Examiner correspondent and Fox News contributor. He's a really smart, terrific writer. He's Byron York. Byron, okay, a book now says that Facebook, Facebook has fired 52 of its workers for, for using Facebook's location data to stalk people, to stalk women. So to spy on women that they were romantically, romantically interested in? This, this dates back to 2014 and 2015. Facebook has not fixed this problem yet. What do you say? Well, it's a really troubling report. Now, a lot of people have legitimate fears about what Facebook does with their personal data, but that usually means they're afraid of Facebook selling that data to all sorts of other people who are not entitled to it. This is a much different thing. This is Facebook employees allegedly using private information, as you suggested, most of those cases, most of those 52 were men who were pursuing women using data that they should not have been using uh, from Facebook. Uh, the, another thing to remember is this is just from 2014 and 2015. What has happened in these six years since then, we don't know, but it seems unlikely that this just somehow stopped completely in 2015. Yeah, they were also able to not only view women's locations, but their private messages, any deleted photos and more. So, you know, this is concerning stuff. I mean, Facebook says it's on the stick and it's doing, trying to rectify the problem, but it's an open access system at Facebook, according to this book, and they're not really stopping the issue. Go ahead. Right. Uh, the, the book actually says that Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, specifically rejected uh, uh, proposals to, to tighten up access to data. We don't know what has happened since then, but you're right. And this, this also had a physical dimension in the sense that some of these men who were fired from Facebook used this data, this location data, to actually go see women and, and introduce themselves or in some way approach them uh, unwarranted uh, because they had stolen this data. Creepy. All right, let's move on to this. Twitter. Twitter out with a new analysis. It's saying that basically it was hit with more than 360 demands from countries around the world, Pakistan, Turkey, Russia, to delete, remove content from about 200 news accounts and journalists' accounts. Twitter is facing censorship pressure from foreign governments as Twitter is taking down uh, you know, posts and platforms they disagree with. Your take on this? Well, this is this is really troubling again, and it and it's it 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 shows you the the problems that uh, a company like Facebook and Twitter, which are global companies, uh, face. Because in the United States, for example, it is not unusual in a criminal investigation, for example, for prosecutors or defense lawyers to request information from Twitter, that sort of thing, done with due process through the courts. But what you have here is, is, is authoritarian governments using Twitter to try to crack down on journalists. And the question is, is Twitter going to be a party to that? Yeah, interesting stuff. Byron York, thanks for joining us. It's good to see you. Come back soon. Next story.